Ben Johnson. Broder. Benny this, boy. This offense. This offense going into the playoffs third right now in yards per game is in the regular season and as well as fifth in total points per game in the NFL. Top five offense for the second year in a row. Ben Johnson has had them rolling. A couple weeks back, we made the statement. I kind of went out there and said, the way you win a Super Bowl in today's, foot, in today's NFL is you go out there and you have to have a great offense. You have to put points up on the board. It's just the way the NFL has turned. There are teams who can win with defense, but majority of the time it's offense. Question I have here for you guys. Is this offense good enough to make a Super Bowl run? Yeah. Especially behind Ben John. Sorry for the Absolutely. quick answer. No, you're good. I want to go to you. Yes. Here. I, want to, I want to hear. Um, because there's specifically the offense. The offense is good enough to win a Super Bowl. They can hang with any offense in this league. They can go toe-to-toe with any defense in this league. Um, despite the couple hiccups they had this year, the Ravens game, they looked really bad. Um, but they, yeah. they have the ability to counter that. It wasn't it wasn't a good game, but they can they can – they can score with any team. I'm not confident. You guys feel the same way? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, ever since Ben Johnson took over, this has been a top five offense. Um, it hasn't just been this year. It was some of last year, but they've added weapons on to that, and they're going to continue to add if he, you know, decides to stay. But absolutely, this this offense is geared for a Super Bowl run. If they uh, come out and play to their strengths, which is that offensive line and running the ball, why why aren't they a Super Bowl uh, winning offense? Yeah, that that's kind of where I went to. It was oh Nick. KG, yeah, I was just going to say I'm right there with you. To get to a Super Bowl, you do need an elite offense in this NFL. And the elite offensive line, that is, Panay Sewell, Frank Ragnow running behind those kind of guys, setting up the play action for guys like J-Mo coming back hot. Hopefully Laporta gets back healthy. They 100% have the offense to get there. It's just all about that D. And if it can step up. Excuse me? It's all about that D. It, it is, it is, but I had that stat, no, D's and I, that, I need to that. go back and find the stat again. I think it was like six out of the last seven or something, or seven of the last like eight Super Bowl winners um, in the regular season. I can't remember the exact stat. We're all outside of the top ten in their defense in the regular season or something like that. You cooked that stat up early, I remember. I, I just can't remember. Like I had to go back year. and look at my notes to see what the exact stat was. I don't want to get – I think it was six of the last seven Super Bowl winners uh, or, or something like that. But even then, it, it shows in the last you know eight to ten years, it's hey, it's not all defense. Like you don't need that defense. There are teams like the Patriots or different teams who have done it with defense um, the last few years or the last 10, 15 years. But if you have an elite offense, man, and you're putting points up and you have like like just like how the Rams won it. Like I obviously they had Aaron Donald and that defense was elite, but just like if you look at those teams though, it's offense. They put points up. When when your defense can't get a stop or your defense does get a turnover, they know how to capitalize. And that's what this team needs to do. It's hey, if your defense isn't that great, they give up a lot. But when they get those turnovers like they have, the seven in the in the final three games, that is when if you have an offense that can capitalize in the playoffs off that, off a turnover, you cannot get beat. Like yeah. you won't get beat, man. Yeah, the defense is they especially in this game, like the defense just needs to needs to be strong enough to keep you around, to keep you in the game, and then come up and make, make the big play. Like ETN said in the chat, our defense is ours in Los Angeles Rams and Detroit Lions are very similar. Good front seven, very leaky secondary. They're good at stopping the run. Uh, their secondary is definitely a question mark. Same with us. Um, their outside line, their uh, Colby Turner and um, Shoot, what's his name? Uh, Byron Young. Those guys, those rookies, have come on strong right next to right next to Aaron Donald. Yeah. They they've got some they've got some firepower on defense, but it's in that front seven. And to be honest, if though that front seven gets pressure, that's the games that Jared Goff and the offense has struggled. So it's going to be this counter. It's it's going to be a. I think it's going to be a fun game, but it's going to be a chess match between Ben Johnson and the Rams DC and yep. Aaron Glenn and uh, who's the. Uh, Sean McVay, whoever, who, who's the OC for, uh, uh, for the know. Rams? Who Sean knows? McVay calls the plays. Yeah, it, so it's like Miami. Man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be one of those back and forth. You seem to have the defense to either get a take, get one more takeaway than the other team, or just make a big play when the time is right. That really shifts the momentum or seals the deal for your team. Yeah, and, and one thing too, I wanted to ask this, and I'm gonna give give kind of my thoughts on this real quick. Is like starting with the Rams game, and then kind of even if you win that and keep going and keep going, um, and kind of make that run to the Super Bowl on this offense. I mean, you know, Amon Ross St. Brown. In my opinion, Amon Ross St. Brown is gonna show up every single game, right? Uh, one of those running backs is gonna show up. It's it's and it keeps going in my head, and I keep thinking like, who on this offense, and, and what guys are gonna step up that really takes this offense when you're in the playoffs to that next step? Because you look at uh, teams that make runs and teams that are good 
in the playoffs. They their their stars always per, like make plays, but there's always like those hidden heroes. There's always those those out of nowhere stars kind of form. Um, I think this year, and I think versus the Rams, and I've already stated it today. I think guys like Jamison Williams and Josh Reynolds, this is like th- where they shine. It's like games when you need guys to step up. Josh Reynolds do- has done his whole career in Detroit. It's like when you a game you need him to step up, he does it. I think Jamo starts to turn into that. Waymo, I think he turns into that. And I think that's like on this run here in the playoffs, the the the, the guys that need to step up is those like secondary weapons. Those secondary weapons need to make plays, and I think they will. 100%, and that fits well into the Ben Johnson offense because I, yes. I do believe we have a star wide receiver in Amon Ross St. Brown and a, a star tight end, even already. Um, but it's not like – it's not your traditional star. It's not your – you know, play the X or the Y on the outside and go uh, Justin Jefferson or CeeDee Lamb for 250 yards. Uh, but it's it's doing all the dirty work. It's the timing. It's the relationship that the receivers have with each other and with Goff knowing when to make their cuts. The timing of it all is huge. And, and so that's where I think as long as you're just missing one weapon, you're not missing, you know, major guys. I do they have so many weapons it's yeah. hard to say like That's why their offense has been elite. They spread it around and they yeah. do every game looks a little bit different and we're not even talking about the run game. Like <laughs> like these are just how how Ben Johnson constructs his passing game, passing attack. I don't know how you game plan for it because it's all over the field. A few weeks ago, um, I th- who was it? I think it was Jamo was getting asked questions, or someone might have been Amon Raj, or, or, or I can't remember who it was. One of these receivers were getting asked some questions in the locker room, and you might have been there, Broder. Um, but one question that was asked is like, "What is it like, like knowing like I think it might have been Josh Reynolds, like knowing there's so many weapons on this team. Like, do you even care? Like, does it bother you at all? Like, if you don't get the ball or how the ball gets spread around? And, and they were all like, and, and Ben got access as well at a press conference, and he, and he basically just, hey, I'm gonna try and get the ball." To everyone we have so many weapons that can make plays it's not just one or two or three guys it's like we have a room a wide receiver room with five or six dudes we have a running back room with two or three guys like we we, we have t- multiple tight ends that we can give the ball to i mean you saw in dallas 